Tonight, you could say it's round two for House District 1 in Nebraska. Back in June, Republican Mike Flood edged out Democrat Patty Pansing Brooks in a special election. If you remember that, filled Jeff Fortenberry's seat. Tonight, the two face off in a midterm battle. More on that and other ballot measures out of Nebraska as KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson joins us from Norfolk. Nick, good evening. Hi, Tim and Sophie. It's been busy here at the Norfolk Public Library all day. Voters have been coming in and out here at the library, and the library opened at 8, just like all the other polling places here in Nebraska, and they ran out of I Voted stickers by noon. They estimate 430 voters have come through so far today, and of course, Nebraskans have some key ballot measures to vote on in this election. Nebraska residents are deciding on uh, proposed Amendment 1, which would authorize local governments to spend revenue to develop commercial air travel service at local airports, and initiated Measure 432, that would require a valid ID for voting. And initiated Measure 433 would raise the state's minimum wage from $9 to $15 an hour by 2026. One voter in South Sioux City talked about this measure. Uh, historically, Years and years ago, we used to increase the minimum wage incrementally, and I think really that's what should have been done. So now we're in a position where the minimum wage has not been increased for years, and federally still at 725. I'm really against increasing just uh, automatically to $15 an hour for a period of time. I'd rather see the smaller incremental increases, which should have been done right along anyway. Besides the ballot measures, Nebraskans in the state's first district will also be voting on who will represent them in Washington, D.C., Republican incumbent Mike Flood or Democrat Patty Pansing Brooks. And I'll be joining Representative Flood tonight at KCAU 9 News at 10 to get his thoughts on the midterm election. For now, reporting live in Norfolk, Nebraska, Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.